science background that we do, right? We're, we're, we're so in tune with this, this issue of you don't want to be thinking up there, right? But at the same yeah. time, what do you associate the brain with? Thinking, <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and, and so this, this concept of like, you know, how do you, how do you make it so that you're not thinking, but you are reacting to what you're seeing um, and to what you're feeling, particularly, you know, hand connection, let's say too. And, uh, and to do it, you know, really kind of almost instinctually, right? And, and this has been, you know, something that, I mean, I think like in terms of the resonance between you hit, you hit custom training programs and, and the idea that, that back year is communicating to the, the players you've worked with. And now for the, you know, the more and more players that hear about back year, um, you know, since you guys have brought this really starting to bring this into market over the last couple of years is that you want to teach, and this is the biggest challenge for any hitting instructor, right? Is you want to teach how to do without thinking, right? And, and, but the do is so complicated sometimes, right? Where's the pitch going? How fast is it getting here? What do I want to do with my hands, right? Do I want to do a two strike type guarded approach to the zone? Or am I going to be free swinging with, you know, no, no strikes or one strike even? And so, you know, those are the kind of things that um, has been particularly a challenge with you hit as well, right? Because what we're trying to do is very similar to what, what, what goals back gear has is gaining that kind of ability to react and anticipate, right? Put the best swing on it as possible, but to be able to react and anticipate the pitch, uh, and noticing whether it's going to be the pitch that you can do the most damage on or not. I'll give you an example. One thing that we, we do in, in, in U hits custom training program that's done on a phone, right? Is we simulate what pitches look like coming at you. You're in the left box, you're in the right box, but it's not just like BP, like those 150 pitches, you know, at, at batting practice, let's say, right. That you're talking about. It's, it's a pitch. It's a series of pitches first to kind of get an assessment of, how well you recognize curveballs, how well you recognize sliders, how well you recognize change-ups, fastballs, different parts of the zone even, right? And then to be able to make, we take that data in terms of how well you recognize those pitches by just tapping on the screen for strikes or holding off for balls or tapping on the screen when you're looking for a certain pitch and you see it or, you know, just letting it go when it's not the pitch you're looking for. And then we have this automated coach in you hit that personalizes to you speeds up the next pitch you see, slows down the next pitch you see, changes the difficulty of the type of curveball you see, makes, maybe makes it an easier slider for you to see that kind of horizontal movement so that over time you get more familiar with recognizing these kind of vertical movements of the pitches and you get faster at moving on them, right? Then that personalized coach, that automated coach, we call him Coach Hewitt from UHIT, but that automated coach, Coach Hewitt, he will then speed up the pitches a little bit more, maybe make them a little more difficult to tell the difference between the curveball and the slider. So that stepwise over time, you're getting a little faster at recognizing pitches, but you don't think to yourself, I'm gonna, or you get a little bit, you delay yourself even to see a little bit more of the pitch to say, oh yeah, that's a curveball, it's not a slider. But you don't think upstairs in your brain, you're not thinking like, all right, I'm gonna be waiting now, right? And then I'm gonna decide. No, what's happening is that, on the brain level, you are recognizing, you are react, uh, be able to anticipate this pitch a lot better on the order of like 10, 20, 30 milliseconds, right? That's 0 0.01 seconds, 0 0.02, 0 0.03 seconds. And in that amount of time, you're not actually thinking I got to wait or I got to go faster. You're just actually waiting to see, you're looking to see just what you're looking for. And then when you see it, boom, you can react, right? And so that aspect connected to what bad gear is doing in terms of giving the player that tactile connection, kinesthetic, right? That kinesthetic connection to the bat and their hands being together as they go through the zone. I mean, they're really two sides of the same coin. It's kind of what I'm seeing. You've got the visual side on one end in terms of uh, anticipating. And then when you know to react, that's where you come through and you kind of have to transfer it now from the eyes and the brain down to the hands, right? And, and then how you move it through the zone. So, I mean, it really seems like these are kind of two sides of the same coin. Um, one is from the vision side, the other one's from the kinesthetic side. And, you know, the, the best hitters will kind of marry those two things. Mm -hmm.